If you want to learn how to easily divide any size circle into any number of equal segments up to 100, this video is for you. I'm Herrick Kimball, and this is another Get Her Done workshop video, but I'm not in the Get Her Done workshop today. I'm in the international headquarters of Planet Whizbang. It's my mail order business. If you haven't been to the planet, stop on by sometime, planetwhizbang.com. Now today, as I said, I'm going to teach you how to divide a circle into any number of equal segments. And I don't think it matters what size the circle is. It could be pretty big. You could be an artist. You could be a landscape designer. You could be an architect. You could be a carpenter, which is what I am, or a woodworker. And speaking of woodworking, this idea has come from this book, Fine Woodworking on Proven Shop Tips. I believe you can get used copies of this pretty cheap on Amazon or on eBay, and any of these tip books are well worth having. Now I'm gonna move the camera right over my shoulder and I'm gonna walk you through the process here and explain how this is done using a chart that's in this book. I'm gonna demonstrate for you on a nine inch circle how this technique works. And I'm going to divide the circle into seven sections like you see right here. And what we're going to do is determine the chord length of each section. And a chord is that distance from here to here. If I were to take my ruler here and draw a straight line like that, that's the chord. And every one of these chords in a circle divided into equal sections will be the same. So we determine the chord length for this nine inch circle. This is the chord length, three and 29 30 seconds. I'm gonna show you how I derived this number. And don't let that 29 30 seconds intimidate you. I'll tell you how you can figure that on your tape measure real easy. And once you have determined your chord length, and we're gonna do this mathematically, then you set your compass like this to that length and you just work your way right around the circle. Here's our nine inch circle. We're going to figure out over here in four steps, four easy steps, how to find that chord length. Step one is that we need to know the diameter of our circle here. It's nine inches. And we need to know how many sections, how many equal sections that we um, want to divide this into. And we're gonna use seven, okay? I'm working in inches. I'm an American carpenter. I'm working in inches. If you're in the metric world, you're gonna to have to make the conversions. Step two in our four easy steps is that we need to find the multiplier for seven sections. And to do that, we have this chart. It's out of the book. It's uh, for dividing a circle from uh, three to 100 equal sections. And I'll put a, a a picture of this at the very end of the video and you can screenshot it if you like. So we can see here that for uh, seven sections, our multiplier is 0.4339 inches. Step three, oh, that was step two. Step three is we wanna multiply the diameter, which would be nine inches times the multiplier for seven, sections, which is 0.4339 inches. And let's go to the calculator. Nine times 0.4339 equals 3.9051. Alrighty, so we'll put 3.9051 inches. Uh, that's the uh, cord length. We can find three inches right here on our tape measure, but 0.9051, that's not so easy, but actually it is. So step four, we're going to find the fraction equivalent for 0.9051 inches. And to figure this out, we're going to go to an online calculator right here. At the time that I am making this video, the best place that I have found to go for this conversion is inchcalculator.com. You're looking at it right here, the uh, decimal to inches calculator. Now it's preloaded with 0.625 inches, 
we don't want that i'll highlight that and enter the number we do want to uh, use which is 0 0.9051 okay and we're going to just come over here and hit this equals and right there is our answer 29 30 seconds well that was easy so we'll put 29 30 seconds right there and that gives us our answer our cord length equals three inches and 29 30 seconds we're ready to mark out our circle what i want to do now is transfer three and 29 30 seconds to the points of my compass so I've drawn a line here, and I've got my tape measure, my carpenter's tape measure. Whoop. We'll uh, lock it here. I'll uh, get a starting line, and uh, we'll just pick a number here and lay it right on that line and count. One, two, three. Okay, that's easy. Whoops, got to get on my line. I'm looking at this off at an angle because I don't want to get in the way of the camera. So then I got to mark out 29, 30 seconds. And that's not as hard as you might think. These uh, increments here, a standard carpenter's tape measure, you're going to find that you have sixteenths of an inch. So how do we get 30 seconds? Well, it's really quite easy. We would just uh, count out uh, by twos, right? Starting here, because every sixteenth is two thirty seconds, all right? Every 16th is 2.30 seconds. We can jump ahead. Let me make sure I'm on there. Uh, the half inch mark would be 16.30 seconds. And then we can count by twos from there. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So it's right in between there. Let's see if I can get that marked right there. We've got three, and we've got 29, 30 seconds. If this uh, fraction on, on, an, on another uh, example was in 60 fourths of an inch, sometimes it is, well then every, uh, between every 16th is four, 60 fourths, okay? Hope that makes sense. It's, it doesn't have to be complicated. You're only doing this once to set the legs of your compass up. So. Yeah, uh, I've got it figured out right here. I already set this uh, in, a, in a prior shot here. So let's step it around the circle. Uh, I'm gonna, you can start anywhere, of course, and uh, maybe we'll make a little mark. We're going to start right there. I'm going to put that on there, go like that. We'll go get the point right on, go like that. And uh, just keep working our way around the circle like so. And it will be very interesting to see if we get exactly seven marks. Nope, we didn't. You see that? Oh, this is excellent, actually. The math world and the real world often don't correspond when we're doing this. So we've got about a quarter of an inch of uh, it, too long. Now, is this wrong because my calculation here was wrong? I would say no, it, it's not. It's because it only takes a little bit. These The, the width of a line is probably a 30 second here. So sometimes, and this is a perfect example, sometimes you've got to uh, go a couple times, all right? So what I'm going to do here is hold this here and I'm going to use this micro adjust knob. I'm going to crank it in, bring this leg in just a little. That's what's nice about these. Okay, that probably would be enough. Yeah, so I'm going to erase and now we'll step, we'll step our way around the circle. Start right there. Maybe I'll go longer. Boy, that looks like it's right in the exact same spot, doesn't it? Let's see. Son of a gun. A little bit shorter just a little bit maybe i'll yeah we'll go right there all right yeah we're shorter we're shorter it's compounding as we go around this is the way it goes though okay and there we are right back 
right back at our first one and we're on. We're on. We've done it. So we're just drawing lines here from the center out. Let's see if I'm right there all the way around. And there we have it. Seven equal sections. That's all there is to it, folks. Figure it out by math, and then when you get into the real world, you may have to do some little adjusting, but, but it's not that hard. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If so, give me a thumbs up. I sure do appreciate it. Bye now.